Hi, I'm Samuel Oliveira and I will press the paper mapping wired links in a hybrid wired wireless network on chip. Wireless network on chip is the NOC evolution. This type of network can send packets between distant routers without need to travel through several routers, only work point to point. However, this type of network has a higher packet loss rate. To try to solve this problem, hard networks are solution. Mixing a conventional NOx with Renox, we can obtain a trade-off between latency and loss packets. This paper proposes an optimizer of the attached links of wireless routers in a hybrid network. The attached links are the links interconnecting the normal routers to wireless routers. We use the genetic algorithm to find the best configuration of the attached links. Different test cases are made, including different topology sizes, traffic patterns, and injection rates. Our goal is to find the most optimized networks for average latency and packets delivery requirements. In the first figure, we have a conventional NOx square mesh. The second figure shows the topology used by hybrid networks in our experiment. TR normal routers and HR wireless routers, also called hubs. Each hub is connected to 40 routers and our heuristic will change the attached nodes between T routers and H routers. This figure shows the wireless router architecture. Each router has five ports where one is the local port. The router runs an antenna to exchange information with the other hubs. The communication with the normal holders happens through the other traffic port. As a risk, we use an NSGA2 whose objective is the quest average latency and increases the delivered packets. The parameters were chosen empirically. The parameters are present in the table 1. An individual is a solution to all problems. This solution is represented for a quarter of the attached nodes. The crossover operation consists of two individuals changing information, generating two new individuals. These individuals will be evaluated for fitness function and classified. This fitness function is the SNOXIN simulator. The mutation operation shows handle to attach the nodes generate a new configuration. For simulating, I use NOXIN, which is developed using System C and contains support for the hybrid wired wireless network. I use the experiments three different synthetic traffic patterns, handle, shuffle, and butterfly. The injection rates used are three levels, low, average, and high. The first level injects one packet every one chosen clock cycles. The second level injects 10 packets every one chosen clock cycles, and the third level injects 100 packets every one chosen clock cycles. The genetic algorithm was executed three times, since it is not a deterministic technique. The results were ranked, and we selected the 25 best individuals in relation to delivered packets and the 25 best in relation to latency, totalizing 50% of all individuals. An average calculation is performed taking into account the three executions of the GA. Experiment delivered packets in a 4x4 topology show the increase in the most case in the number of delivered packets. Because this network is small, the random traffic pattern is not optimized. The latency results show a significant difference in the use of link mapping. In two of the three traffic patterns, we have a very visible improvement. The latest could not be optimized or had a little optimization in the pattern of random traffic, since the network 
of selling the pack is fickle. The risk has a great difficulty to optimize it. 4-H-by-H -H networks in the experiment for high injection rate provide favorable. With low or average injection rate, the network achieves a good performance due to the mapping. With large networks, the safety space increasing requires more exploration and are changing parameters looking for improvements. Networks with low packed injection and large networks are easy to explore due to the minimal amount of packed transient. The average length was reduced in the most cases, plus a only few times in the pattern of random traffic and only when packed injection per clock cycle was high, which increased network congestion. In some cases, there has been a reduction of up to 80% in latency. The mapping better made a difference on a large network, but even so in most cases, it's managed to increase the numbers of delivered packets, even though in some cases, this improvement is not so significant. Additionally, with the use of the proposed map solution, it was possible to observe an improvement in latency results. Even in a network with 256 routers. In our experiment, we did not obtain a big statistical difference in the results. However, even if statistically, there is not a big change. We managed to obtain decrease in latency value by up to 80%. Only in the handle track pattern, the end of the case failed to have an average latency optimized when compared to the full case, given its volatile distribution network. For cases where it was not possible to obtain better results, we can increase the population size and the number of executions of the risk used and explore more mapping possible, looking for one that is more optimized than in the basic case. The results show that it's possible to find wide wireless networks more optimized for latency and delivery packets when we use some heuristic method to change the mapping of the links that connect the wireless routers to the wired routers. In the future work, we plan to replace hybrid mesh networks with irregular networks. Thank you everybody, any questions you can send me an email.